Welcome to the Chop Team. I'm your host, Seth the Dark Child. I'm your host, Twins Inc. Our show is about two guys and any friends that happen to come over with a topic that we want to chop up. This is our barbershop style podcast. We discuss it all. If the fellas at the shop will go in on it, we will. Let's chop it up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another full blessed week. I got a good surprise here. My boy Seth the Dark Child, you know, he don't know, but last week I gave him a shout out, but he's back. He's in he's in the studio today, and we're gonna chop it up today. Yeah, I miss, I missed this, but uh it's it's been a what topic for the day is gonna be like the first week of our corona lockdown. C O V I D nineteen, the review. Yeah. And no, uh, and yes, we you probably again another video. Yes. It's the biggest topic going on. Yeah. But this, much. but this, but this, but but this, we're doing a review. So yeah, it's uh, there's some good things, some and, bad things, some, some indifference. Bad. It's just you know, and this is personal. We ain't, we ain't pulling up no articles or nothing. This is just our observations. Yeah. So let's let's, let's go and chop it up. Yeah. So um, like some of, some of the good things I've noticed. Okay, let's talk about that. Um, women are nice. They're nice. Yeah, women are. Honestly, dude, I was in public. No, real talk. I, every female I talked to, for whatever reason, I don't care where I was at. Okay. Started a conversation. Don't know why. It freaked me out the first, you know, six or seven conversations. And they just start talking to you now. They smile. They they make eye contact for no reason. Really? Yeah, I'm starting to feel, in, I'm starting to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... I'm like, are they objectifying me or something? But seriously, ladies, ha- women are actually showing a real nice personality nowadays. Why is that? Or why, no, why do you think that? Because we don't. I don't know why. Because you know. Well, I don't want to start this off to say I'm a woman basher. Now it's just that it's just that some. It's been obvious that if you walk, you can walk right in in front of somebody. They could be walking right towards you. They'll ignore you. They'll act like they don't see you or something. That's true. But lately. If you accidentally make eye contact with one of these ladies, they start smiling and trying to talk to you. Dude, this is making me uncomfortable. I'm I'm just saying. It's a good thing because we've been lacking interpersonal interactions with people on a real level. Well, that could be it, you know, because honestly, I haven't left the house since last, last Wednesday. Last Wednesday was the last time I got in my car and drove somewhere. So I've been homebound all this time, which I'm cool. I'm not. I'm not like I need to get out. No, okay. I've been out. I've been cutting the grass. <laughs> I've done a lot, a lot of housework around the house. You know what I'm saying? Maintain the house, securing the house. You know all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know we're gonna talk about securing. Yeah, securing is very key right now. But yeah, so I, I'm not cabin fever. And the kids been outside. Nice big backyard. Kid, I took kids outside yesterday. To play right, and like ten minutes later, they're back in the house. I, don't, I, I know I'm doing wrong as a father. My kids went outside for a little bit, right? And it's all flies, bees. And they like, and, and they were like scared, like, oh, I'm like, man, them bugs not gonna worry about you. That's, but oh, sorry, but but once again, it still goes back and forth until we're talking about. So we're seeing a lot of bugs and oh flies that, that and too, bugs. Out. Why is that? Why do you think also you see a lot of wild insects and well, creatures we'll see now? That too, once again, good thing. It's like, yo, yeah. um, lately, f- for real, I saw a hummingbird. I saw a hummingbird. A- I would I would almost tell you it's been years or maybe a decade since I've actually seen a hummingbird. And normally, what, what the hell? They're what rare they too. They're rare, especially in mind you, we're in Atlanta, Georgia, so this is you know where we where, where we at. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's for me. That's rare to see a hummingbird. Humming seriously. So <laughs> I got bees, I got bugs. So you know it's Atlanta. But when I saw that hummingbird, when I saw birds outside, and it's just a better place. You know, if it wasn't raining. This place will be beautiful right now. Yeah. Trees are blooming. It's not a whole bunch of outside noise. And I saw something that really made me smile. Kids were out playing yesterday. Yeah, there's kids outside playing right down the street on bike and everything. Dude, kids were outside playing. I know. Dude, I'm going to say that one more time. Say it again. Say it again. Kids were outside playing as Dang. if they were sick of being in the house. Mm. How, when the last time kids were sick of being in the house? I know. So, um, Especially with all the technology we got with the PlayStation, it, Xbox, and video games, everything online, cell phones, iPads, whatever, you name it. Dude. They want to go outside. And, and don't get me wrong, because uh, 
I've been outside too a lot mm-hmm. because I have killed like. Over fifty two thousand zombies. It keeps track. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm I'm playing Dead Rising four just cause, and I've killed over fifty two thousand zombies. I'm like, okay, I'm I'm about I'm about sick of killing zombies right now. <laughs> so you ready, huh, dude? Fifty two thousand is a long time to just I just killing stuff for no reason. I can, I'm tired of it. So I watched the car. What? Um, I saw a young lady walking a dog, mm-hmm. and not sure, but it was interesting. Once again, I just said hello while I was washing the car. Mm-hmm. She came over to me. Oh, wow. And started speaking. Don't know what happened here. So we're going to go running. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> Are you going running? <laughs> she, she like, well, just come by and, you know, I'll set us up some smoothies and we'll go to the park and run. And I'm like. Okay. So hold up. So is, is <laughs> did she did she plan a date for you? No, no, she didn't give a date. She said anytime no. I feel like it. Oh. So, but the point being is is, is I'm up here like, do I need an adult? <laughs> <laughs> you just you just wasn't ready. Cuz mind you, you, if you take away the whole COVID-19, that conversation would never would have happened. Dude, never. You know why? Because one, you wouldn't been outside. True. Well, I I still might have been outside. Yeah, but I've seen it before. You know, know what I'm saying? This right. isn't random. Say it well, again. Well, it is See, mostly hold random. Hold on. Say it again. You saw it before. So it's not the first time you saw her. Exactly. And I'm pretty sure you might have spoke before and she probably, like, she didn't hear you and kept walking. Like she was too involved okay. in the phone or something See, like See, that. that's the point I'm trying to make. So, so I just now, randomly while she was walking the dog and I, I you know, you just hold your, the, yeah. the soapy rag. Up, hey, how you doing? And I went back to Washington. I turned back around. She was right there. I'm like, whoa, 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 boo. <laughs> this COVID-19, you in my personal space. <laughs> back up. <laughs> Which is true, and which is not common. When I when I cut in the grass in front of my house, people walk by and drive by. I'll just speak like, "Hey, you know, heading out, whatever." I'm not like, "Hey, come over here." I'm like, "Hey, it's, it's courtesy." Please. One, you're my neighbor, so hey, neighbor, how you doing? Hey, exactly. I, I may need you, may not need you. I gotta be sure you're a zombie enough. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once again, know, personal space personal now. Space you, right now. We, we we've been maintaining this for a long time. Don't don't mess up the rotation. What changed now? All of a sudden, I'm Got extra me. friendly now. So now, all of a sudden, I, I'm I'm like. Sure, I'll I'll go running with you, dude. I ain't, I don't think I'm gonna go running, <laughs> but you know, it's it conversation. It was good. It was it was off the it, from once again. It was something different, and it's because some people, because a lot of people are home right now, mm-hmm. and some people are. I say this: most people who don't like being home is people who have empty houses. Okay, not really take. It's not trying to take a shot at nobody, but it, you know what. It's either empty houses, mm-hmm. uh, bad relationships. You know what I'm saying. So now these people, so these people like going to work. They like getting out of the house because they get to see someone different every day. Uh, which reminds me of Walmart. I mean, which reminds me of Walmart yesterday. But keep going. So, so now, so when people are, I guess, in the communities now, when they see other people, when they speak now, they're more friendlier now. Well, you, it's like you said, we are public. You walk in smiling. Females and ladies are smiling at you, which is it's, odd. It's, it's, I mean, and, look, and I'm ladies, not to say and, and, that I'm and, a horrible monster or nothing like that, but well, to no. get that po- that amount of positive feedback made me uncomfortable. I'm like, and, I'm not used to that positive. And let's talk about it. the reason why it, we we make it seem like it's that because right now we're in the days days of the Me Too movement. So at this point now, as a man, it's really kind of difficult to try to speak or shoot a shot at a woman because she might take it the wrong way. And it can cost you everything. Mm-hmm. So it's like, <laughs> hi, you know, you want to speak, but you don't. Like, I don't want to feel like, you know, I don't want to be the monster right now out here. So I'm, you know, just give you the oh, head nod. And, and, and add on to that technology, meaning you're always on the phone. You're always listening to something. You listen to a video. You just, you're always occupied with something else. Right. So so, so if I say, how you doing? And, and I say it twice or whatever, and you're like, I'm doing something. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, see, I, I, I'm I would sorry. Ne- I would never say it twice well, you unless know, I was trying to shoot my shot. But it's still that, well, sometimes, hey, Miss Lady, how you doing? Hey, but whatever. But sometimes it don't be the, the second shot. Sometimes it's on the initial, hi. Exactly. He thirsty. <laughs> like, I know, right? Really? I'm just, nah. I, I wasn't even trying to holler. I was hey. just saying hi because you in my visual we make eye contact, just say hi, just kind of yeah. rude, you know. But, Dude, I'm about to start doing that. When they say hi to me, I'm like, go on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> See how we feel now. Exactly. So, the, so this, I mean, we still got a lot of stuff to talk about, but this is some of the things that 
is good and bad because it's still V nineteen right now. It. And um, so that part, like I say, now bad part is this, right? What I'm realizing from my niece, we're gonna talk about education in this COVID nineteen situation. Oh, yes, talk about it. My God, are okay. I'm trying to be polite here, but does it <laughs> seem to you like a lot of younger people have wasted the time their time going to school every day? Clearly, and I have kids. I'm not saying I don't. I do too. I'm thinking, idiot. What the hell are they going to school for? Well, see, it's good now because now we we're the parents is paying attention to what the kids learning. Mm-hmm. And it's like what? But even on top of that, too, don't lose our thought. Mm-hmm. I actually kind of like it right now that the parents are now teaching their kids, right? Mm -hmm. Because these kids go to school and they learn, but you got some behavior issues, right? Mm -hmm. And some Mm -hmm. of these parents are like, it ain't my kid. It's you. It's just the classes, the kids around them. Oh, you can't lie. My kid is the angel at home. So now you're at home with your kids and you're seeing how they are and they'll know how to act. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting when y'all eventually go back to school, if it's next year or whatever, I'm expecting y'all to make sure y'all send love to your, your teachers who's teaching your kids on a daily oh basis. Oh, my God. Dude. For, <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> for, just to add on to that once yeah. again, when it, comes to, when it comes to education with your kids, and once again, my kids are not here with me. I'm not going to say I see this personally every day. Right. But um, a lot of parents are on autopilot when it comes to their kids' educations. Oh, yeah, definitely. You don't. If you haven't helped your kid with homework or or even care anything except what the report card said, it's a rude awakening to talk. I have had a lot of conversations recently with people under 15, you know, nieces and nephews, their friends and stuff. Right. And uh, a they don't have they don't grasp logic at all. So I don't know what these teachers are teaching them about how to think about life because. They don't they they can barely carry on a decent conversation and unless it's a topic they specifically care about and education is not a topic they care about. Secondly, you write all this, all these excuses you've been making. Oh, the school ain't doing this and my kid ain't doing this. You can't hide behind that no more. Mm-mm. Your those teachers, those teachers have been putting up with this right here. Right. Day after day after day for thirty forty thousand dollars a year, and then even are you crazy? And then and also to add on top of that, because we're the parents, we can discipline our kids. Once again, yes, but they can't at all. So they can tell them to stop, sit down, X Y Z, and they maybe call the principal, but that's all they can do. The kids are still running around wild. Exactly. But we, if my kid act crazy, I'm gonna wear that butt out. You gonna sit in the corner? They are gonna relax. But imagine a teacher can't do that. Imagine. There's 20 other kids in the classroom on top of your kids doing that. Now, imagine what the teacher is going through right now. For 20, 30,000 a year. <laughs> right. I, I got nothing. So, but then <coughs> to even add on to that, then now let's talk about the education part again, like you said. Now, the way they do math now, it makes no sense. Whoever is the person who decided to change the math, how to add, subtract, you need to get shot. Sorry, I, I said it. You need to get shot yeah, because yeah. honestly, it's so what's so hard from carry the number to the top and then add it and go down? No, they got the you got box here, box here, cross it out, cross it out. It's like what are we doing here? Just for re- regular math, add and subtract. That's all we are doing. We didn't get the algebra, so we get the algebra. What y'all gonna do then? Well, no, well you know what's weird. Your kids <laughs> are young, right? Right. So you know that at, after a certain grade, they stop teaching that jump. They do. But here's the thing, right? Why would you teach? Kids learn better when they're younger. They actually learn better and faster. And that foundation is what will work with them for the rest of their life. Facts. So foundationally, you taught them this stuff. <coughs> you taught them this stuff. But then you tell them to stop using it and go back to using the stuff your grand, your mom and dad have been using for years. Mm. What's the point? Exactly. You just, did you, I'm, honestly, I, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that I know better, but if you have kids at home right now, you are literally looking at their course level, their education. Mm-hmm. If you are actually any kind of a decent parent, you're actually learning with them because I'm quite sure most of us have forgotten fifth grade history. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, but, uh, this might be another whole topic, but at the end of the day, half the stuff they're going to learn in school 
it's not going it's not going to pay no bill and pe- parents should be recognizing that too this, you know, why are you learning this stuff right what as an adult i'll be honest with you and i'm a i am a i am an analyst for my job right i i don't think i've used trigonometry as an adult not at all um i don't think i've used calculus no. i don't think i've used no. advanced geometry no um I don't even think I've used most of my algebra in- no, information as no, an adult. No. Not saying that you don't need to know these numbers, but you really should have taught me how to do my taxes instead of taking algebra one, two, and three. Facts. Just, just saying. All right. You know, taxes, uh, credit, saving, stocks. Yeah, stocks, insurance. Insur- you know, those things. I mean, we're not we're not trying to change the conversation. This is, this no, no, we, we just, this is, this is what we're seeing Yeah, because... We have to actually be parents. I mean, hey, your kids is at home and it's unexpected, and you're at home, right? And guess, yeah, no, no, I mean, and guess I, what? And I'm, I promise you, there's a lot of parents right now that their kids are actually falling, falling behind because they're not doing nothing with the kids. Like they're really taking this time as a break. Okay, y'all can go play on your phones and do, like my kids. Like honestly, my wife, what they did? See, I, I'll show you a picture of it shortly. Mm-hmm. They have, they have a schedule. Mm-hmm. They sleep in a little later, yay! <laughs> yeah, I mean, but at eight forty-five, that's when class start. Eight forty-five, and they get done about three o'clock. What what time do they normally wake up? I mean, on a regular school day. Oh, they, so they, they get up like seven, so it's only an hour earlier. No, no, so they get to sleep an extra hour. Yeah, extra hour. Cool. I mean, I'm saying that's who who's gonna. I get to sleep an extra hour because I'm working from home. So uh, yeah, I mean, I could I could actually more hours because I'm gonna get up and take them to school. So I, I'm I'm happy with that. Actually, I'm I don't know what it is. But lately, I've been going to bed at like two o'clock in the morning, two thirty. <laughs> I'm still getting up at like seven, seven thirty in the morning, because without the extra three hours of stress I got to put in on driving on the highway Facts. in Atlanta, mm-hmm. um, I feel much better. Yeah, because I just get up, come downstairs and work, get exactly. my coffee, get my food. I'm good. Now, the only thing now the only <laughs> the only thing bad with the COV at nineteen for me. Mm-hmm. I'm airing. I'm eating every goddamn thing in the house, man. Dude, <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing so much better on my diet. Oh, Dude, man. I lost. Now, bear in mind, um, my mom's. I live with my mom's. It's, no, no, my, no, no. it's my house. Right. But, <laughs> right. Clarify that. You know what I'm saying? But I live with my mom's, but it's my house. Mom, with you. <laughs> but um, at the same time, I have actually lost like three pounds in a week. Mm. I, I don't weigh myself, but that's good. Well, I did it on purpose. The first day when I got up last Friday morning, right? I just stood on the scale because I'm like, if I'm gonna be locked down, okay, without without the vending machine and the junk food and the mandatory lunches and ah, stuff, that's right. I said, let's see what happens. Okay, and I'm eating better. I'm sleeping better. I feel better. I'm actually exercising better mm-hmm. because I'm at I'm working from home versus going to work. That's awesome. So. Maybe an office job isn't the best thing for me. Not that I'm turning it down because my mortgage is my best thing for me. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but no, <nah, laughs> there's I, some positive, definitely positive life changes available to me right now. I mean, listen, I'm you see over there, I got my weights, got my pad. So we have virtual classes. So I'm still working out, but I do miss the gym. But I'm the same way. Ooh, virtual classes. There are some educational things I'm supposed to do for work, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Thanks for reminding me. Got you, got you. But My yeah, bad. so 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 honestly, I mean, for me personally, it's, it's a lot of great benefits being home. See yeah, the kids, my, my family time. So I'm not complaining. I'm good. Oh yeah, this I got no complaints. No. Okay, let's let's move on to another happier subject. Um, I was talking. I, I met this dude. We were walking in Walmart together, and uh, he said something. He was like, "Dude, because." Wh- Honestly, a girl walked in in front of us in some inappropriately dressed. Okay. Now, I didn't know this guy, but he was, you know, he was like, God. Well, that's, that's guy code. We see something like, we look at each other like, I know. I know. And so, but he, but he brought it up. He was like, dude, he said, see, this is, this is what happened when you close to strip clubs. I was like, what? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I mean. Well, is, hold on. Is that a good or a bad thing? No, no. Well, from me, visually, I was <laughs> ecstatic. Okay, okay. But from um, him, he was, I mean, you know, just when he said it, because I don't want to describe what she had on, but let's just say. Um, no, I got you. When you, 
with the clubs closed, restaurants closed, you can't interact and get around and hang out with your people. I, right. I think what he's saying is, think what he's saying is, there's nowhere for a lot of young ladies who are used to public validation to get it right now. Oh, okay, okay, and okay. And so her going to Walmart is the equivalent of her going to a nightclub right now because who else you going to see? Where else you going to meet people? Who else you going to show off how cute you is? Mm. Right? And so, But when he said that, you know, we walked into Walmart, and I was like, yeah, you know, we walked in. We both side by side for maybe, you know, like once you get in, you can branch left right. or right after a few moments. And there was another young lady who was walking towards us. And he was like, he, oh, you know, once again, I think he was, he was older than me. He was like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah. Dude, Walmart was like walking through a strip club yesterday. It was that bad. It was it multiple times. I was like, you, you kidding me, right? Well, you know what? To even, you know, to, to even uh, <laughs> jump on that kind of the same way, but not the same thing. Okay. Um, it's, it's bad thing, right? Yeah, bad thing. Uh, so when you think about strippers, mm-hmm. uh, entrepreneurs. Oh my God! People who have businesses where they only interact with people only. Oh, Uber drivers, Phys- personal trainers, personal trainers. Um, yeah, I mean, like, people out there, um, music, be- music teachers, piano teachers. Yeah, anyone, dancers. anyone who has a side hustle or a job that requires interacting with people, karate teachers, all that, all that. Um. Don't forget about them. They're feeling it right now because mm-hmm. they cannot make the money they normally make. You know, um, I don't know what strippers do because strippers make a lot of money. Strippers make probably, they could probably make my whole salary in one day depending on what sport events here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh. Easily. Oh. Uh, they, they, matter of fact, they could probably make a five times my salary depending. In, like, in what, 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 um, was the Super Bowl here last year or the year before? Yeah, last year. Last year the Super Bowl was here. Female strippers... And maybe male strippers too, but I know female strippers were making almost a million dollars. Yes, over that I mean, the, the weekend, Ma- Magic City, Magic City. So, with that being bank. said, I'm not knocking what they're doing because I understand everybody has their own lane. So, I'm not knocking what they're doing. I actually, day the girls are strippers, so I understand. I'm not knocking a hustle, but right now, that's that was their breadwinner. They don't most strippers what they do during the day to either sleep most of the day or they work out right because they keep the body tight mm-hmm. or they have their family business kids you know whatever they're doing with during the day but at nighttime that's when they go and make their money mm-hmm. the dancing but now because those all been shut down financially they're being impacted oh dude people who even even and, and Uber they, drivers I have a few friends who are Uber drivers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Honestly, you don't want to drive a car and someone hit your car coffin, you know? It just so so with that being said, even those businesses are running slow because people are not going anywhere. So Dude. so why need Uber at this point now? I mean, technically you don't want to go to one's house because you don't know if they get sick. Mm-mm. Or if you go to one's house, guess what? Let's say they do a lockdown quarantine. You stuck at your booze house who ain't got nothing oh, in the house. And, and that's another one I want to touch <laughs> base on. It's a whole lot of people right now. Finding out whether or not they a main chick or a side chick or a side oh, dude. Man. It's a whole lot of people who thought their relationship was one thing that they finding out this week. Um, this ain't nah, it. This ain't, this ain't it. This ain't the position you thought you had. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, like I said, they're going through it. Oh, dude. Any entrepreneur. So, you know, I, I still try to help my entrepreneurs out any way I can because um, I know they're going through it because they, they're – Person to person interaction. So, I am blessed to have a, a job right now that does pay me, even mm-hmm. to work remote. So I'm blessed on that. But those people who who don't <laughs> have the option and they need, you know, I think even now they they have virtual, uh, virtual stripping like lap dances virtual. Yeah, but I don't know how it's going to work because why would you even pay for that? I know. I'm I'm gonna say the word. I don't know if I it'll I hope this don't get us banned. But there's a thing called P O N P O R N H U B. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's it's a, it's free, so yeah, you can't. You shouldn't be making no too much money if it, if I can get like a I know thousand terabytes for free. Yeah, so that so yeah, I don't know how it's gonna work now. <laughs> excuse me. Um, the virtual um last night, hmm? um, there was a they had a uh, club Krona. Okay, club Krona. Club. <laughs> it's funny, right? Okay, go ahead. Um, the reason why I said that because. 
uh, last night they had DJs all over the world go live stream mm-hmm. as a DJ. And DJs were playing music, and you can go on Facebook or IG and watch the person live stream music. Wow, that sounds One cool. One DJ out there set the bar last night. When I say set the bar, his name is uh, D Nice, mm-hmm. DJ Nice. And he had everybody, Little Chris, the, anybody famous, politicians were on his stream. <laughs> And he was DJing for about seven hours straight. Wow. Which is cool because now everybody can party and listen to music inside the home. You can get drunk inside your home. And guess what? You get drunk, you go right to bed or sleep next to your toilet. But guess what? You're in a comfort in your own home. Mm-hmm. So, Beside your quarantine bay. Yeah. So right, <laughs> <laughs> so right now, there's it, a lot of good things going on. People are now connecting with other people. Social media is still social media, which is good. So... You know, there's, there's something to throw out there like, to think about. Like, there's a lot of good things going on, but... Um, yeah, like I say, this is just week one. So, it's good times and bad. But trying to entertain yourself, good times. Um, not It ain't just the strippers and the sex workers. I, I want to throw that out because some people who you don't even put on your radar are, are shooting real bad right now. Yeah, that's Stri- why I said Uber drivers, yeah, well, personal I'm go- trainers. And know? I'm, I'm going to say with strippers specifically and, and sex workers, they might make a hell of a lot of money. Yeah. But these are not the people most likely capable of managing their money. So mm. what's the use of making $100,000 a year if your bills and expenses come up to $100,000 a year? See, what happened was, so I get what it's you're gonna saying. It's going to be rough. No, no, I, and I get it. And... I kind of put the strippers mm-hmm. that in that market and athletes in the same position. I'm, oh, I'm, oh no, let me, because they get the big money, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I get, oh, I got ten million dollars right now. Okay, I'll get another contract, and that's their problem. They think they will be able to get another contract. Exactly. Then something happens, they blow a knee out, and something. Guess what? You don't get a big contract no more. But now you have a house over here that costs fifty million. You got to mm-hmm. pay a hundred thousand dollars every month. You ain't got that money to that. You ain't got kids. Yep. So so we went to strippers. Strippers can make on the low end. A stripper could probably come home um, a night, probably making a minimum between maybe eight hundred dollars to two thousand. So yeah. in our range, every night, every, every night, every well, night. They might not. They probably let's say five thousand a week. Ain't that's not impossible? Yeah, probably more. Yeah. Well, you know. What? Well, that's a that's a good stripper, that, but they're gonna make at least two thousand dollars a week. Across the board, about hundred k a year. Right. So, with that being said, is that we're going to say that because they 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 they're not thinking the mindset. Yep. You know, what, we put some money up on the with side no for a right. We put no. some money to the side in case a stormy day happens, which nope. is stormy day is Corona. So, in case something happens, I could fall back on it. So they wouldn't think about mm-hmm. uh, strip so, clubs and stuff being shut down now. So now they they're looking, they're scrambling mm-hmm. to find any means to make money now, <coughs> and now. That goes into our safety. And when I say safety, and I'm, I'm, I'm not just talking to them, I'm talking to everybody. Safety. Because now, once resources start falling out where people can't pay their bills, then they start, and then people, jobs are letting people go now. Oh, dude. I heard 50,000 people apply for um, unemployment. Right. And that was like this week. So, 50,000 people. Yeah. So, yeah. come Because so, listen, listen. Listen to this, people. Now, the drink Corona, mm-hmm. um, when I check, they lost over $135 million just this first quarter just because someone named it coronavirus. Now, they changed the COV-19, but it was too late. That company has took a hit of $135 million in the first quarter. It's only March. It is the first quarter. Could you imagine running a business and in the first quarter of your business, you lost $135 million. So what's going to happen now? They got to get that money back. They're going to start laying people off because mm-hmm. that's what that's what the big CEOs do. They take care of themselves. When they money, they still rich. Don't get, don't, get, don't get it twisted. The owner of Corona, he's still rich. But he lost money this first half. Now, he didn't lose money on his own pocket. He lost money on his business. You know what I'm saying? It's a big difference. Yep. So, but yep, yep, yep. with that being said, he got to let people go. And not just some other. That's 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 one company, but oh, now keep going. Keep yeah, going. so that's just one company I'm, I'm <coughs> mentioning because they lost people and they're laying people off. But what I'm the point I'm trying to make is that with people being laid off, 
food being laid off, and then now resources are getting low. You can't buy stuff, can get stuff. This is where the safety come in at. Oh, uh, let, let, me, let me jump on that before yeah, we get yeah. to the safety net because yeah. we need to address that Definitely. or talk about it. But yeah. um, I want to talk about these Donald Trump tax cuts. Okay, let's talk about it. Remember these tax cuts you got in 2017 or 18, somewhere in that neighborhood? And these major corporations did stock buybacks. Mm-hmm. Now, you know what stock buy, buybacks are, right? Yeah. they You buy the stock to increase the shareholder value. Right. Right. But that money was never so put into the economy as everyone said it was or advertised at the point. So you got companies out there like the major airlines, Boeing. They're now asking for 50 to 100 billion dollars in bailouts to keep from going bankrupt because they don't have any money because they're not making any right now. Right. Right. These are the same companies that got five, six, seven, ten billion dollars in tax cuts. And instead of investing it in the company, they bought back their stock, meaning they gave themselves a raise. The the money, the ra- <laughs> a raise. They cashed the hell out. And now you want to bail out because you don't have the cash. The, the, once again, 130 Corona losing 135, that's cool. What about Disney? Disney stock is seventy five dollars a share right now going down. Hey, well, good time to buy it too, but yes. Cru- these cruise lines? Crazy, they worth net the airlines. People and mind you, and and yes, we're talking about big companies, but also, yeah, you, you have to understand, people like us make those companies millions of dollars. So if the company is losing money, there's hundreds and thousands of people out there is going to lose their jobs. But but these are the same companies that could have saved themselves had they not cashed out. Seriously, folks, mm, that's true. You, you make me put money in my four hundred one k. But these corporations don't have to put money in their corporate 401ks? Talk to them. Just asking. I mean, think about Delta. We're in Atlanta, Georgia. Delta is one of the biggest flight. You know, it's, it's based here in Atlanta. And now they're laying jobs off. I think you they're can off, get it. They're off of voluntary uh, yeah. retirement. I think you can get Delta stock for like $24 a share. I mean, dude, well, I want to say this for everybody. The economy, let me, let me let me take it a little bit more serious for everybody with this COVID-19 thing. Yeah. The economy was never good. Um, the stock market doesn't actually have anything to do with the, with people who clock in every day. Mm. All of this stuff that all the money that's been made in the stock market came from rich people playing with their money, making and making changes and sales and all that. We've never we we've been struggling point blank. So there's no reason the stock market went up 30 to almost 30,000 and we're still making 750 an hour in some places. You know what I'm saying? Right. That should have changed, but it didn't fine. Now those same people that was making crazy money when the stock market was at 30,000 is on their knees right now making when the stock market is at 20,000, they are hurting, but the Facts. Por- now, but when they start hurting, yeah, all the people who don't, actually have anything to do with the stock market i like i said strippers because they they are the most obvious place but let's be honest i have a friend who's a dancer she she does um a, a rumba mumba whatever that is zumba zumba okay uh-huh, my bad um she hasn't she hasn't had any clients for like three weeks yeah uber and, drivers mm-hmm. and she probably won't get any clients until this is over and the fact that she works for herself she does. She's not going to get any type of package to cover her during this time frame. Like our, our company, our company that we work for, they offer people who can't work from home. They offer them a package where they can stay home and still get paid. But once you're an entrepreneur like those people, yeah, I got personal, okay. personal trainers. Yeah, I mean these aren't dudes that were just randomly. They were working hard. They were staying in shape, mm-hmm. and now it, it's gone. Right. You know, and these, and once again, they pay their own insurance. So what happens? God help if there's some kind of a medical issue that they'll have to deal with. Um, I got landscapists. I got artists. I got musicians. I got Mm -hmm. America. The whole, the whole economy of America is a service economy. We don't really produce a lot. So about 70% of the American economy is service. Mm -hmm. Well, service is low, very low. So, I feel for all these people. And like I said, this is week one. We're going to come back next week and do a week two because we still got 
smiles and stuff going on about good stuff happening, it ain't got bad. And hopefully it won't. Uh, but, right. We definitely plan to hope it doesn't get bad. Yeah. I I watched the movie Contagion last <laughs> night. Um, <laughs> so ha- have you seen it? No. But it's funny because my wife is watching another Netflix show about an a, a, a outbreak. Not the movie outbreak, but it's something very similar no. and people being quarantined. So it's crazy. That these these movies are not coming out and making a lot of money, of course. Well, well, actually, <laughs> Outbreak came out in like 2011, maybe. No, the movie? Yeah. No, I mean, next- not Outbreak, Contagion. Oh, oh okay. Because Outbreak was in the 90s. I looked that up. Oh, But the reason I bring it up is mm-hmm. it, shows to, it shows a very slow societal breakdown. So. It all starts out reasonable, except for these people are dying left and right. It right, was, it was so fast. But the point being is, as long as they, as long as people aren't hungry, people aren't desperate, we can keep having sunny days. But let's talk about who might be listening that doesn't already have a personal protection item. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you are as of last week, there have been two reports of uh, home invasions. Or people trying really? to break in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now, of course, now, the, the, the two people, I mean, the last the last couple of home invasions were failed because they got shot because people had personal protection. Huh. And if you don't have personal protection, damn the toilet paper. Go get you some personal protection. Yep, and it could be and it could be a gun. It could be uh, a knife. It could be a door stomper. Uh, it could be a baseball bat. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day... You have to understand, um, you know, police, they have families, too. So, you know, it's everyone's not on the street right now. Mm. I would say that. I mean, because it hasn't got bad yet. Exactly. Unlike New York. New York got military presence. So. Dude, I would have never stayed in a major city. Yeah. Well, we're a major city, too. No, Honestly. we are in the suburbs of a major city. Oh, not uh, saying that's yeah. right. Okay, okay, okay. But that crazy stuff? Yeah. Think about being in a tenement building with a thousand or more residents. And you know the police aren't coming. Exactly. I would not want to be there at so all. That's for the personal safety matters. So, you know, we're definitely hoping that it doesn't get to that point. But you need to have some uh, personal protection. You know, me, I have a lot. I've been preparing for this. People been thinking, oh, you're you're overthinking and you watch too many of those movies. Well, it's 2020 and <laughs> here we're we are now. A, we're in a movie. We're in a movie right now. I'm not saying who's laughing now because it's at the end of the day. I didn't want to be right. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm not. I, I don't want to be the person like I told you so. No, I don't. I, I didn't want it to come to this. You understand? Because I know I'm good, but the person I was talking to, they're not good, and now they're trying to go and run and get something. Like, listen, mm-hmm. they're trying to run and get a gun now, mm-hmm. and guns are limited, so now they gotta get whatever's available, or the prices are high as hell for a gun. Mm-hmm. Well, me, well, instead of me spending, you know, between, you know, eight hundred to three thousand dollars for a gun, mm-hmm. I'm spending it on maybe some food. But mind you, I've kind of been prepared already. See, this is this is always talk about about men being forward thinkers. Not all men, but most men. Mm-hmm. Most men are child be forward thinkers, and most men who have fam- mostly family men are forward thinkers. And the reason why I say married men or family men because they have family. When you're a guy by yourself, you just worry about yourself. I'm good. Somebody call about me is me one on one. But now, if you have a wife or kids, okay, I got I can't just protect me. I can protect my my wife and my kids and the grandmother. So it's all on me now. So, yeah. It it takes preparation to do that. And to do that, I have preparation. So as far as a door stopper, I bought that when I was in my old house, which was like three years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. (laughs) And like, what do you need that for? I said, because somebody kicking the front door or I hear them kicking, I got enough time to get to I need to get to. Because if I'm dead asleep, it's going to take a minute. How many times have you been been laying down? Your kid shall wake you up, Daddy, 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 and they, you know beating on you. But you know if you're knocked out, if you're a hard sleeper. But yes, I've been I've been by the door stopper. I've been by guns, guns meaning See? meaning more than one. So <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, I've been having extra water, extra toilet paper. I have it. I I have a deep freezer. I've been wanting deep freezer just because I just want to have deep freezer so I can throw extra meat in there because meat don't you know doesn't get old. No. Right. So now because I have. I have two refrigerators and a deep freezer. So mm-hmm. I'm good on food. And I'm talking about meat. I got meat in mm-hmm. all of them. You, you have my refrigerator right now. I got meat about to fall out. Exactly. <laughs> I can't find none. Oh, there's that chocolate chip Snickers frozen ice cream <laughs> bar in the back. The last one, too. You know, so you find stuff, you all happy. But the point I'm trying to make is 
I've been always preparing this. So when you think I'm like, oh, you're over this? No, no. I just I have a family. I have mm-hmm. kids. I got to protect them. I, mm-hmm. if, if I go down, then they done. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. All things you just said, same thing. I have a deep freezer. I don't even know why I have it, but now I I'm glad I got it. <laughs> um, I have like now. Bear in mind, I'm trying not to eat that many calories. I'm I'm actually trying to start go calorie deficient. Okay, but it doesn't matter because I got like 400 packs of ramen noodles and. A big jar of centrum, and so I'm gonna die from hypertension and, and too much salt intake. <laughs> right, <laughs> but once again, the mo- I got multivitamins oh, to, to cover oh, all, yes to cover my deficiency that I'm gonna get from um, lack of certain food stuffs. Get you some multivitamins and supplement those with your even if you just eating ramen noodles, which don't have any and I repeat any nutritional value outside of caloric. And some multivitamins, you're good for years. Listen, I mean, right. <laughs> if you want to eat some noodles, cool. Just make sure you can gallon of water. That's all. Don't flush it out. Once, exactly. <laughs> but once again, it's there, but I'm just saying. Yeah. But you're right. Being, dude, as a as a married man, you did have to look further down. I don't just have guns. I got guns, knives. I got an axe. Source, <laughs> I'm kind of crazy like this. Hey, I got a crossbow, so if I see a deer running across the yard, it might get got. Hey, look, <laughs> hey, we seen Walking Dead. Your boy, the crossbow survived a pretty long time with that Once crossbow. Again. You know, he started making them too, a piece of wood and unlimited so ammo. Know. It's, once again, <laughs> I shoot you. I go looking for my arrow, and I use it again and again and again. Not saying it's right, but survival. Honestly, so, you know, I'm looking at I'm looking at a couple of my. Um, I'm say this men versus women, female friends, and yeah, boo, what the world that a lot of um, a lot of and this is once again I always go I'm gonna stop doing this, but a lot of, the world a lot of people hope that we would continue to have mm-hmm. might be going away, mm. and when it goes away, you can't keep thinking the way you've been thinking because you've been able to think this way based on the rules of the world we lived in, right. So, um, Donald Trump, or your president, is even right now trying to take seven hundred thousand people off of food stamps. Oh, he's still he's still trying to do that. He ain't yeah, I, just, that? I just read the article today. Oh wow! I so he that. he's still trying to take seven hundred thousand people off of food stamps. Bear in mind, in Georgia, I, and when I said other people, fifty thousand people in Georgia applied for unemployment. That ain't countrywide. That's in this one state. Mm. These are people who are going to need those food stamps come April, come May. Because some of these jobs ain't coming back. Or even if they come back, this would be a good time for a lot of companies to clean house and start over. What you going to do? You know? And this is all about prepping and Mm -hmm. you got to learn how to make these long-term decisions. This is a movie. This is a horror movie. This is the kind of stuff that you that changes the way you interact. You ain't trying to meet nobody. You ain't trying to be with nobody. This really is you on that ship. And the only ones who getting on the ship with you are the people you choose to be on the ship with you. And it ain't no more that I can always find somebody else. No. Next week, we're going to have a different conversation. Well, you know, yeah, because, I mean, outside of social media, people will not meet new people at this point now because... When you go through your phone, <laughs> look and see how many selfies you see. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <laughs> who are you going to meet new? Because, and then on top of that, are they sick? Are they been around anybody who's been sick? Like, I, like right now, you, I, I don't want to be around nobody new. Exactly. If I don't know you like that, mm hey, no. Hey, hey, not the, hey, let, 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 let me run out of tissue paper. <laughs> I, now, I know how many rolls I got. Now, how long you going to take me to go through them rolls? Right. Now, I don't know about you. You might, you might. Blow your nose a lot. I ain't got to um, do that. Right, because people will mess up your own supply. Exactly. You know, when he, like I said, when it gets to when it gets critical, and I hope it doesn't get credible, but personal count and value, everything matters. Like, no, mm-hmm. oh, I'm coming to stay with you. No. And I mean, and it ain't even about, once again, even about money. I can have $1,000 in my pocket, but if it ain't nothing on the shelves to buy, that $1,000 is just paper. Or you can't even get out to spend it. Yeah. What's the point? Yeah, exactly. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It, and, and this is for the people. See, this is the scare part. This is why we're talking about personal protection items. 
I'm fine. The people most I've already checked with the majority of my family. We all fine. Thank you for the blessings we've been given. It's a lot of families out there that they couldn't do anything to protect themselves. It doesn't matter if the trucks keep running or not. They were already barely above water. Mm. Doesn't matter. Let the government give you a thousand dollars. Where's that going to come from? You know, I don't say, and that, that's that. Done, those checks, those checks is really nothing, really. Is that? Yeah, I was hoping. I was, I was hoping he like send checks of five thousand to hire the people. Dude, I'm like, man, I get that doing overtime. And that that's <laughs> that's the kicker, right? That's there. nothing. If you if a thousand dollars change your life, you are effed up. Yeah, that's true. That's that's all it is. Too. Yeah, I, I mean, if it's a thousand or if it's twenty five hundred, if you have, I read through. If you have, if you're married with kids and it's twenty five hundred, that's still not enough. Once again, I, I was hoping like ten thousand dollars per family. I'm like, what do we do with a thousand? I'm not gonna say nothing to to talk about people. I came from a lower tax bracket. You know what I'm saying? I, oh, know, I know that when Mama got her income tax check, we ate good for a month, maybe Facts. two. It was good times in the hood. Facts. I don't remember the last time I even cared about my income tax check. I mean, it's it's nice. I'm not, but it's, it's, it, it's, it's right. It doesn't move my meter. Yeah, and you know what? There's some people who worked. There's some people who got that marked on the calendar. They'll struggle all year round. Like for instance, some <laughs> people, some people do this. And mm-hmm. like, okay, it's Christmas season. All right, I'm a, I'm a, I'm not gonna pay mortgage or rent this month. I'm gonna go and buy the kids something here because I know when January hits, I get my W twos. Mm-hmm. I get that money. Then I pay my back. You know that. And then also I won't pay February because I know I'll get my tax return. No, no. Exactly. You, you get jammed up. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's it. So I'm. I mean, I feel for those people. If if a thousand dollars got you excited, these are the people who I'm worried about next week, and, and the week after that, and listen, and the week after that. And don't let that little thousand dollars or twenty five hundred convince you of voting for somebody neither. Oh, <laughs> I, you know, I, I wasn't. Even, I wasn't even gonna go in that neighborhood. But if that's enough to buy your vote, you once again, we already getting what we deserve by the people hey, who are happy said, with that. So you want to take his money? I said, damn right, I'm gonna take his money. I take money from a lot of people. It's well, my money. Well, hold on. Well, I'll vote for him. Once I get the money, I- I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. Put the money in my hand first. I- I- I'll think about it. Yeah. But anyway, so back on the safety part. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. But yes, honestly, people, like let's not let's not be stubborn. Let's not think it's just a joke. Because I- I've been talking to a few people, and people think is people say to me is this? Like, oh well, the flu. What about the flu? I'm like, what about the flu? The flu kill people every year. I said, you're right. I'm not dis. I'm, I never. I never said it did, and you did. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is that I'm in Georgia. The coronavirus has not been here, not even a full month yet. So mm-hmm. three weeks, probably going to fourth week now. But in that time frame, we have. Well, as of yesterday, we had ten deaths. Let that marinate for a second. So there's a virus that's been going on since January, or maybe before that. Mm-hmm. It finally hit Georgia. Within three weeks, people get infected, and people were dead. Mm-hmm. Flu been around for decades. Mm-hmm. People get it every year. People get flu shots. People get the flu and still survive. People didn't get put in quarantine when they get the flu. Mm-mm. You know, at our job, you get a, you get sick, stay home, but no one's being quarantined. Mm-hmm. You're not you're not being told don't go nowhere. Mm-mm. So yeah, th- this is a big deal. I, I, I don't, why, why, see, would, why would you think that's something compared? Why do you think that's even a game? No, people are actually dying out here. See that. I, I want to stop personally. I want to stop the wet aboutism. Yeah, you know. Listen, take everything. Take this on the surface for what it is. If if a million people got the flu, you might be looking at ten thousand deaths. Maybe mm-hmm. you know not not many people going to die from people are going to die from the flu, but you might get ten thousand deaths out of a million infections. Right. If a million people get the coronavirus. You're looking at thirty to forty thousand deaths. Now that might not seem a lot to you, but thirty to forty thousand deaths is a lot, and that's just a million people. Here, let me tell you this, mm-hmm. because some people, because because I don't care if it's in America, I don't care if it's any in the world. The virus is out there, <coughs> and people is dying. Right? Mm-hmm. It's okay. So imagine this. Listen, yesterday, seven hundred and ninety-three people died yesterday in Italy mm. of the coronavirus. 793 people died yesterday. How, not, many, pe- how many people they say infected? 
Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. He, okay. he, he, the person posted this said a thousand people died yesterday. Let that mm-hmm. man in for a second. How many, how many hours is in the day? 24, right? Yes, 793 people died. And so you think that's a game? You think you think that's, I mean, it's not here in Georgia. I mean, it's not in the United States yet, but it's it's out there in the world and people are dying it that mm-hmm. quick. So mm-hmm. people die of the flu all the time, but not that quick. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like people dying, again, but it, this is this is people dying quick, 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 quick. And once again, even once they get to the hospital, because sometimes you can get sick, you go to the hospital and they can get, they pitch a machine and all right, cool. No, if you don't go a certain time, your your respiratory uh, system dies. It, I watched a video that shows you how long it takes and what happens to your lungs, and even after you survive it. Mm-hmm. Your lungs are still damaged, and you still yep. you still you still at high risk of still having it. Yep. So this is a big deal. People are like I don't. <laughs> yeah. Once again, I mean, we, see, everyone saying the good. This is weak for us in America. We talking about week one, but I don't know how to be afraid of it for real because it is terrifying. But it it hasn't hit me personally yet. Mm-hmm. But um, I as I tell anybody, don't wait until it affects you. True, true. No, I mean, no, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, 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 like, I know from what I can see. Now. I'm just putting out there for people, for the listeners out there. Oh, don't yeah. wait until it affects you. Just like when black people get shot because it ain't your kid, you don't really care. Don't wait until it affects you. But go ahead. Continue yeah, what you're saying. It could be with your kid. So, no, but see, that that's what I'm saying. It is. Did you see um them kids in Miami? Right. When, on spring break. The, 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 I saw Dude. a video. I saw a video. I saw a TikTok video mm-hmm. of. You know, they do a little dance. Give me a little something. Doom, doom, ch- 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 doom, 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 whatever. Mm-hmm. They was doing that with a lollipop. Being that one person had a lollipop, they passed the next person. Are you kidding? I kid you not. They sharing the same lollipop. Ugh. A line of people coming down and sucking on the same lollipop. Ugh. So, Dude. yeah, yeah. Like, people out there really think it's a game. And once, he, once again. You know what? I'd rather be that person who, who's over, over the top and survive. And any person took it for granted and die. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I'll be that person like, hey, I'm not going to say I told you so because it's fortunate that you had to pass away, but I didn't do that. I can't. I got nothing. Listen, <laughs> one, see, w- once again, I feel <laughs> bad. I'll, I'll say so positives for the week. Let's just recap. I mean, for real talk. Um, positives. Mother nature. 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 Mother nature is Tell back. me what you were telling me about nature earlier. Let's hear that. Oh, man. It's beautiful. Um. Uh. This because everyone's home. Everyone is in a house and away from the mm-hmm. earth. <laughs> we have animals that are coming out. We got dolphins swimming around closer to the beach. You know, dolphins are one of the friendliest fish in the world. Mm-hmm. Deers are running loose because they're not afraid. They're not being hunted. They're not being killed by us men. Mm-hmm. So you may see a lot more animals running around because all the people who go around killing them for mm-hmm. no reason for sport. They're alive. Yeah. You can see more bugs now. You see more butterflies. You may see stuff you haven't seen in a while. Like, wow, I haven't seen a butterfly in a while. I, saw I see a moth, but I haven't seen a butterfly in a while. Different colors, too. Mm-hmm. Because the air population has gone down. These planes ain't dropping chemtrails all over the place. The price of gas is dropping because no one's going anywhere. Exactly. I mean, I, like I said, I've been joking since last week, but my gas is full tank gas. But, hey. The point I'm trying to make is that it's a good thing that everybody's home. Everybody get a chance mm-hmm. to, you know, read about their life. They're saving money. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying a lot of money. Uh, dude, I don't know what. Oh, you like know what? I speaking of spend. money, speaking of money, people, <clears throat> I know that they approve, approve people for uh, your mortgage, you know, doing a forbearance, mm-hmm. whatever, for X, Y, Z. Um, my personal opinion, um, if you can still continue paying your mortgage, I say, do it. Don't because the options there for you not to pay it because you know what's going on in the world. I get, I understand what's happening in the world. I get it, but if you can pay, it, please pay. It. If you take advantage of the forbearance, I want to be very clear here. You're still going to have to owe the money. So mm-hmm. let's say, for example, you pay a thousand dollars a month for your mortgage, right? Mm-hmm. And so March, April, May, and June. So four mm-hmm. months, you don't pay your mortgage based on the forbearance. Mm-hmm. Then July comes around, guess what? You got that thousand dollars you got to pay for July, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you got that thousand dollars plus the other four thousand dollars you didn't pay for the last three months. Mm-hmm. 
So think about this. If you don't spend the money, like if you don't pay your mortgage, you take that money and go shopping and buy stuff, you got we don't come up with five thousand dollars at then. Mm-hmm. If you don't got five thousand dollars now, where are you gonna come where where's gonna come from come you know in July? <coughs> so I'm saying that be mindful, think about it. You still gonna owe the money. Don't pitch his health, don't pitch yourself in a predicament where you can lose your house and lose everything because at the end of the day, um Virus has been around forever, right? People die all the time. But the point I'm trying to make is that the loan companies, the banks, they want their money. They are not your friends. So that's why you're supposed to have life insurance, mm-hmm. homeowner's insurance, mm-hmm. because if something happens, guess what? You That money will cover your house. So when you're gone, your family don't got to struggle to maintain the house or whatever. So the point I'm trying to make is pay your mortgage. Don't get caught up with these bills. Tomorrow. Oh, you don't got to pay your light and gas for the next couple months. No, they still want that money. They're not going to cut you off. <laughs> They're not going to cut you off. But they want their money. But they want their money. So come three months from now when it's, when it's all passed, they want that money. If, I would say as a small caveat, it would be interest. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, if you – here's how I would do it. Go ahead. Personal. Awesome. Let's say I get a forbearance. Mm-hmm. for. I just want to know, are you still accumulating interest? Because if not – I'm going to get the forbearance, but I'm going to pay them every month. But every penny I pay on it is going principal only. Oh, that's smart. You know, okay. so if you're still charging me interest, I'm going to just pay it every month anyway. I'm not going to I'm not going to trust you to do fair. But if you're willing to forbear the interest rate, you're going to you're not going to charge me interest on this. I'm going to pay it every month and it's all principal. Come out a little bit ahead on the backside. But um, yeah, don't play with interest. If they not any anybody telling you that will will forbear on the bill or something, ask them what they're doing with the interest. Because if the interest is still compounding, don't don't get caught slipping thinking they're your friend. That compounding interest is where you're gonna get broke off because interest on five thousand. Let's say what you say four months. Mm-hmm. That four months of with with interest is a heck of a lot more at a, as a both as a balloon payment than your monthly interest that you were paying anyway. Don't don't play those games. They're not your friend. Yeah, that's that, my opinion. Yeah, no, I just that's what I'm. Uh, I just want to get that nugget out there because I see people talk about. Oh, I'm not paying my bills for the next couple of months. Yeah, I'm balling. No, no, they want their money. They just give you time to pay a letter because they want you. You know, protect your house, protect your food, make sure you have food in the house, whatever, all that good stuff. But they want the money. So just, don't be fooled. I just want to give one more example of this yeah. just to say. So I, I know a young lady with student loans. She got a forbearance for like a year or something. Okay. <coughs> All they were charging her was interest. Oh, so even with the forbearance? With mm-hmm. it? So she didn't have to make any payment, but they were still accumulating interest. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, see. she graduated from um, college about eight years ago. Okay. But she keeps taking forbearances. Oh, Lord. She now owes more on the student loan now, 10 years after graduation, than she would have owed if she would have just paid it the hell off. You you now owe them more money than you started with. Yeah, you keep deferring and forbearance. It doesn't, it doesn't help you out. Is that, and it's she, only good if you're in a, a bad financial situation and you know you, you're able to come back on the back end yeah. and make money. But don't do it. No. I've, you know what? I don't like borrowing money from people. I learned something a long time ago. Facts. If you have to borrow money from people, you can't afford it. Because if I didn't have the money before I borrowed it from you, probably not going to have the money after I borrowed from you. Because mm. I'm going to use the money I borrowed from you to do something else. Whatever I borrowed the money for. Same thing is, now I'm in a hole. I hate using credit cards. Why? Because if I couldn't afford that living room suit on the credit card... Now I owe more than the living room cost me paying off the credit card. It sucks. It's, it doesn't work. It's different for a house and a car where you know you work out a payment arrangement. Right. But when you just – interest interest is a monster. When you just go and get – borrow money from somebody with an open-ended payment schedule, it is a ripoff all, every time. You are going to lose more than you gain every single time. It's just my opinion. And I, this forbearance sounds like a setup. It is. But afterwards. But, yeah, people, that, that, that's the quick wrap-up for week one for the coronavirus, a.k.a. COVID. So stay blessed. Keep your head up. 
We'll be back next week with week two follow-up. Yeah. Weeks two should be interesting. Peace. We out.